Hi, Internet! My name is Kirsty, or Thespian and Proud to the world of YouTube and WordPress blogs, and I am an acting tutor and an actress from Edinburgh. I run the Edinburgh Acting School, and sometimes I do acting myself. The first of these videos is on a real basic, it is on line learning. Now, this is something that stumps a lot of people. Hopefully, this will give you some hints and tips that you can use in future. First thing to say, and this is a bit of disclaimer, everyone has different learning types and everyone's brain works different ways. What works for one person may not work for another. Try them out, see if they work for you. Simples. First thing I want to say straight up about line learning is do it. Do it early, get it out the way. It infuriates me when an actor isn't learning their lines and is leaving it to just basically down to rehearsal and waiting until the very last minute. But to me, if you have a script in your hand, you're not acting yet, you're reading. And you might be vocally acting, you might be giving some intention to it, but you're thinking about the lines and your brain is scanning and reading and that is what your focus is. And that's not what acting is. So many people leave it to the last minute and basically on show night, or their main concern is, do I know my lines? And if you're doing that, then emotion's not even coming into it yet. You are just a line learner. That is no different from having a kitchen, buying some ingredients, buying some utensils and saying, all right, I'm a chef. No, you're not doing anything yet. You've got the basics lined up and that is it. Not everybody needs you to be word perfect. Sometimes you get a wonderful director, and I've worked with some in my time, who will just beautifully say to you, the lines are more of a guideline. You can improvise within that. I love these directors, so thank you to every director out there who's ever let me do that, because I love an improv. However, it's not for everybody, and some people that would send panic into. Always know your parameters. If you have a director who needs you to be word perfect, who needs you to pause where it's written in the script, who needs you to follow everything by the book, then learn it by the book. Also, a big suggestion, if you are ever told, I mean ideally you would learn it, but if you can't, we know it's short notice. I feel like those are secret acting tests. Learn it. Even if you have to stay up all night, learn your lines. Okay, that's the rant over. Secondly, what works for you? So as far as actual learning of the lines, I find it really helpful if I have a monologue to learn it line by line. And I will just read a line, take it away, say that line, and add the next line to it and keep doing that. Read, okay, put those two together, put the script down, see if I can say it without, and do it. I do those three times each. Somebody always told me the power of three is what you need to go for. If you can run through the script three times or the monologue three times without making a mistake, you've got it. If you make a mistake, you have to be hard on yourself and go, okay, I don't know it, I'm still tripping up over this bit, and go back. A couple of hints within that is not to learn it in strict sections, especially with a monologue. So if it say it's in three paragraphs, don't always learn it in those three paragraphs. Because then if you lose the first line of the second one, or even the first word, you'll find what happens is you just freeze. You just have that block. Oh, I don't remember what's next. If you learn it in lots of different chunks and you keep mixing up where the chunks are, then you've, you can get that through line and that flow. Some people are lucky enough to just learn lines from rehearsal and it's magical and I love when it happens, but it's rare. For group scenes, I have something I've done since I was a kid, since I was about 10 and I had to learn my first big part. I recorded all the other lines of the play. So I literally had a tape recording showing my age with the whole play on it, minus my lines. So when I played it back, it was like rehearsing. You can stand up and get your movement in. And if you mess up a bit, you can pause, you can rewind. So that works really nicely. And you do not need anything fancy. You don't need a dictaphone. You don't need a professional microphone to do it. A built-in mic on a laptop or a computer will work. You also get quite a lot of apps that do that now. And they're brilliant line learning apps. And you can record your lines, some of them you type them in. You can either 
have them read back to you, or rather play back the recording of your lines so that you're getting them in. A lot of people get them in from listening, which is why you'll find you know your cue lines better than you know your own lines at some points in rehearsal because you're so used to hearing it said, you think, oh, I can remember your line, why oh, can't I remember mine? You're a listening learner, so that's a good way to do it. Or if you're like me and you like to rehearse and you pick up from seeing it yourself, then record other people's lines and insert your own. What I really love to do when I get to a stage where I think, okay, I'm getting there, is have a bath and do my lines in the bath. Maybe that's just me, but there's no distractions. I make a gorgeous bath and get the candles going and I will lie in it close my eyes and just go through my lines. I also think it's not a bad idea to rope someone into it with you. Ask them, it's usually people find it quite fun, they get to play. Someone else to do it with you, why not? When you get to the stage where you're kind of half and half and you think, okay, I know some of these, I'm not sure, test yourself. I will get a script, put it in front of me and cover up sections and keep going down and reading what I think comes next out loud and then testing, oh, yep, got it right, okay, next. If you're learning a massive play and it's maybe slightly less natural, more complex, maybe a Shakespeare or a classical play, sometimes it is good to learn scene by scene and just give yourself sort of achievable goals. This week I'm gonna learn act one. Just makes it easier for you and it feels a bit less daunting. If you're sitting down with a two hour script and you've got a big part, you can just feel so overwhelmed, you don't know where to start. Go over it regularly especially if you're not having daily rehearsals. Thinking you know them isn't enough. Once you've got them in, you have to recap or they'll just disappear. They're not gonna be there till the day you die unless you have some sort of limitless memory. I read actually that the best time to go over lines or anything that you want to learn, whether it's a new language, whatever, is to do it before you go to sleep because then that, those words are sort of swimming around your subconscious. I do that sometimes actually. I sort of scan read before bed and then I just know I've done it and I can go to sleep knowing, all right, I've looked over that. Another one is cue cards. I tend to use these if I've got a trickier line somewhere or one that just isn't sticking. Get a card or piece of paper, whatever you like, and write your cue on one side. And on the other side, you're gonna put your response, so your line essentially. Here is the big one. A lot of actors just get themselves to the point where they've got their lines just there, just in that sort of short-term memory at the front of your consciousness, which means that you're spending a lot of your time on stage just thinking, okay, what comes next? Which is not acting. Again, it comes down to this sort of line learning actor rather than an emotional actor or, or, or a realistic actor. Get some energy and life into it, not just think, okay, next scene, what is it? which means that you really need to know everything back to front. To do that, I ask students to do their lines when they've got to concentrate on something else so that you know it's sort of, you can do it almost subconsciously. Sometimes I'll get them to rearrange books into alphabetical order or CDs or whatever, tidy something up. It's something that takes concentration whilst saying your lines. Lines are great to do when you're doing mundane tasks, washing the dishes, doing the ironing, just trying so you can concentrate on them. But you should be able to do them while you're concentrating on something else. Because when you're on stage, you should be. You should be concentrating on feelings, or, or well, it depends what kind of actor you are, but for me, I don't want to be thinking about lines. I want them to just be falling out my mouth. I actually have a friend who likes to do his lines drunk. He says, you don't know your lines until you have done them drunk. Then you know, you know them. That one's not for everyone, but if it's for you, fun way to do your lines. I'm also somebody that likes to steal moments. I'm one of those people that will, in the ad break, go and run and do something on, with, I'm watching TV. And the bus is a great time to scan your lines or on the way to rehearsal or get there 15 minutes early and quickly go over them again just to scan, just quickly getting them in there. You can do it sitting on the toilet. That's up to you. Take your lines, have them there. Pin them up around your house. That's another good one. If you have tricky ones or monologues to pin them places so that you're catching them and having a quick read here and there where you can. The bottom line is you have to do what works for you. If you're someone who is struggling to learn lines, make sure you just keep at it, try different techniques, download a new app, use cue cards, pin them up on your fridge, do whatever you need to do, but find a way, because they are the bread and butter. Get them out of the way, and then you can start acting. Until that point, you're essentially a parrot. 
If you have any tips or techniques that you like to use that I haven't mentioned, pop them in the comment box below. I'd really appreciate some feedback or anything extra. I'm always looking for new ways to do things. Give us a thumbs up if you found this useful. And if there's anything else you would like, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.